Hey, hey Sherry. Hey, um, hey, I need your advice on something. Yes. Okay, so I like this girl, and I think she likes me back, but I'm not really sure. How exactly should I go about this? I'll say, I experience this from myself, and this is what I always tell my friends whenever this situation comes up. Mm-hmm. Just uh, sneak into her room while she's sleeping and uh, fuck her in the ass. And, uh, you know, if she likes you, and then she'll probably be like, Hey, Tyler! Hey, you're fucking me in the ass! And you'll be like, Yeah! Yeah! And you'll probably say, yeah, a bunch of times. And then, uh, yeah, that probably means she likes you. But if she doesn't, then it's just going to be really awkward. She'll probably call the police, and they'll probably beat your ass. So. That could be bad. It could okay, be bad. Okay, I'll go about this. Thanks, man. Thanks. It means a lot. All right. Hey, hey Shelby, how you doing? Doing good. I have a little bit of a question for you. Yeah. You know? You know, he always gives such great advice. Okay. Um, basically, you know Tyler, of course. Uh, he, how do I put this delicately? I think he's gay. I think he's gay. And I think he likes me, and it makes me really kind of uncomfortable. I don't know how to talk to him. I Honestly, I don't know how to feel about him. Yeah. Any advice? And you need to ask him what's on his mind. And then if he doesn't open up, just open up his ass. Just fuck it, man. Just fuck it. And then, you know, if he likes it, that's cool, because it means he's gay. But if it doesn't, that means you're probably going to be charged with rape, so. So, uh, but either way, you get some cool experiences. So just hit it, man. Just go back and do it. Okay. Um... Thanks. Open up the ass. Yeah. I hate to bother you twice within the next five minutes. minutes. But, uh, just got a call from my parents, and the cat that I've had since I was like three years old, we think she has rabies. But, here's here's the thing we don't have the money right now to take her to the vet. To see if she has rabies, yeah. Um, how exactly should I go about finding yeah, rabies? Right? Is not a good thing for any animal. Exactly. And you don't want anyone you know to get rabies. That's why yeah. you should go take it down to the not a ghetto or some place with a lot of people you don't give a shit about. And uh, you know they're pretty in need of money down there. So they just are. Get, get a homeboy and give him about twenty bucks. And say you know fuck this cat. Okay. Okay. So after you get after you get through fucking the cat, I mean. Uh, you know, you'll be like, oh, I wonder if my cat's got rabies. And if the guy's got rabies, then, you know, sure enough, your cat's got rabies, too. Oh, okay. See, I've been, I've been wondering, I just, you know, I probably... But don't it. tell him you might, your cat might have rabies, because I don't want to fuck that cat. Yeah. Because I don't want rabies. Yeah, he... Look at that shit. Let's try. Okay. okay, thanks, man. Hey, Shelby. Um... I know I just bothered you, but I may have another slight situation. Um, I might have kind of, sort of, gotten a girl pregnant. Any advice? Okay. Take her out on a date, see how she's doing, talk to her, and bring her back to your place and fuck that shit. Okay. See if you can feel any baby crawl around inside of that shit, you know what I mean? Like, just force your way Makes in sense, there. Makes sense, yeah. You know, if it's, if it's in there, it might slap you and give you a high five, you know, something like that. And uh, if it, you feel anything, just keep on fucking her. And But then instead of putting your dick in her, stick a clothes hanger up there and pr- still try to pretend you're fucking her. And try to do it stealthy, like stand under the sheets so she can't see it. Get a dick-shaped clothes hanger. Uh, okay. I call this the stealth abortion. It's awesome. Thanks. I guess. Make sure she's drunk. Hi. Hey, uh, I swear this is the last time I'm gonna bother you today, okay? I swear it is. 
Um, okay, so I've been babysitting for the past few days, and I don't know these Did kids. You a baby? No, oh, no. Okay, I don't know these if you these that. kids have been getting on my last nerve the past few days. It's a seven year old and a five year old. Okay, neither of them will listen to a single thing I have to tell them. Like I'll I'll tell them to like you know go to the corner if they do something really bad. You know, I'll tell them, like, you know, stay over there for, like, a minute or so. You know, something like that. Go into timeout. Neither of the kids will listen to me. What do I do? Okay, do they have a father? A father? No, it's just, you know, it's just a stay-at-home mother. Stay-at-home mother, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, not really stay-at-home anymore. She just she recently got the kids off? Okay. Yeah. Before she drops the kids off, do this. Set the kids in the quarter, sit them on the table, then fuck them all. Yes, fuck their mom. And, uh, you know, draw in the nastiest shit you can. Just scar that shit, you know what I mean? I mean, not literally scar her. But, you know, fuck the kids up a little bit. Make them, make them you know, be like, you know, mentally messed up for the rest of their life because they just saw their mom get fucked in the ass. So make them watch that shit. And then, I don't know. Maybe throw some cats in there. <laughs> Rabies. You said you got a rabid cat. A possibly rabid cat. Make her fuck. Make her fuck that cat while you fuck her. How is she gonna fuck the cat? I don't know. Figure that shit out. That's something you gotta figure out, man. Okay, man. I guess you know. I guess I'll have to go about this. Thanks. I guess. Good luck. Have fun. <laughs>